AIS has been a part of my entire journey. So from when I was 13, I've always been training the AIS. I dedicated my entire life <laughs> leading up to that point in 2014 to break Melinda Gaines Taylor's record. But I truly believed that I could do that. Like I knew I was in good shape and if I executed, I knew I could get the result. When I crossed the line, I couldn't believe it. Even though I had believed in myself that I was capable of doing that. But when something becomes a reality, it's just these enormous emotions of joy, exhilaration, like relief that you've achieved a really amazing goal. And to achieve that goal at a place that meant so much to me, means the absolute world. And hopefully that record stays uh, for a long time yet. It's only beat it by one one thousandth of a second, but hopefully my name can stay there. And the next person that comes along, my name will always be there. It'll just be pegged down a notch. <laughs> when people ask when I was running really fast, I said, oh, did you move to Canberra to train at AIS? And no, I'm just a Canberra girl. And I'm really proud of that. I love the new track. It's blue, it looks really different. It's really great to train on the track. There's always been some really fast times by the boys and the girls over the summer. So hopefully it leads to some really competitive times leading to Olympic trials. Leading into an Olympic year and it's amazing how time goes so quickly. So I'll be doing everything I can to get myself on that team again and, and to be called a three-time Olympian uh, would be something very special to me. And if I don't make it, it's not from lack of trying. <laughs> Sometimes the cards you're dealt don't deliver you what you want, but it's um, the pursuit is what I love and I'll continue to pursue that until the, till the nth degree on the 28th of June when the team's selected and um, then we'll deal with what unfolds. So it's really exciting.